Hello and welcome to Stories Mother Told. For today's story, we're back in West Africa with the Ghanaian people. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Let me take you back to Africa. Today's story is titled, How Mushrooms First Grew. Long, long ago, there lived in a town two brothers whose bad habits were constantly putting them in trouble. Day by day, they got more deeply into debt. Their creditors gave them no peace, so at last they ran away into the woods and became highway robbers. But they were not happy. Their minds were troubled by their evil deeds. Finally, they decided to go home, make a big farm, and pay off their debts gradually. They accordingly set to work, and soon, they had quite a fine farm prepared for corn. As the soil was good, they hoped the harvest would bring them a lot of money. Unfortunately, that very day, a bushfowl came along. It was so hungry that it scratched up all the newly planted seeds and ate them. The two poor brothers, on arriving at the field the next day, were dismayed to find all their work had been wasted. They set a trap for the thief, and that evening, the bushfowl was caught in it. The two brothers, when they came and found the bird, told it that now all their debts would be transferred to it because it had robbed them of the means of paying back the debt. The poor bird, in great trouble at having such a burden trust upon it, made a nest under a silk cotton tree. It began to lay eggs, meaning to hatch them and sell the young birds for money to pay off the debt. A terrible hurricane came, however, and a branch of the tree came down. All the eggs were smashed. As a result, the bushfowl transferred the debts to the tree, as it had broken the eggs. The silk cotton tree was in dismay at having such a large sum of money to pay off. It immediately set to work to make as much silk cotton as possible so that it could sell it. An elephant, not knowing all that had happened, came along. Seeing the tree, he came up to it and plucked down all its silk cotton. By this means, the debts were transferred to the poor elephant. The elephant was very sad when he found out what he had just done. He wandered away into the desert, thinking of a way to make money. He could think of none. As he stood quietly under a tree, a poor hunter crept up. This man thought he was very lucky to find such a fine elephant standing so still. He immediately shot him. Just before the elephant died, however, he told the hunter that now the debt would have to be paid by him. The hunter was anxious when he heard this, as he had no money at all. He walked home, wondering what he could do to make enough money to pay the debt. In the darkness, he did not see the stump of a tree which the overseers had cut down into the road. He fell and broke his leg. By this means, the debt was transferred to the tree stump. Not knowing this, a party of white ants came along next morning and began to eat into the tree stump. When they had broken it nearly to the ground, the tree stump told them that now the debt was theirs as they had killed it. The ants, being very wise, held a council together to find out how best they could make money. They decided to each contribute as much as they could. With the proceeds, one of the young ants would go to the nearest market and buy pure linen treads. They would weave this and sell it, and the profits would go to help pay the debt. This was done, and from time to time, all the linen in stock was brought and spread out in the sunshine to keep it in good condition. When men see this linen lying out on the ant hills, they call it mushroom and gather it for food. This is how mushroom came to be. Thank you so much for listening to today's story. As usual, please do not forget to rate and review the podcast on iTunes and any other platforms that you do listen on. If you would like to support the podcast, there is a link in the description where you can buy me coffee. It would be greatly appreciated. Share the podcast with a friend and subscribe so you do not miss an episode. If there are any stories you would like to listen to, send me an email at storiesmothertold at gmail.com or on Instagram at storiesmothertold. If you would like your kids to learn about black history, definitely check out www.tontimo.com. If you're interested in scary African stories, check out the podcast African Horror Stories. Until next week, see ya!